I have a club car president here. Uh, thanks for watching another, another one of my videos, man. Um, I can make any video you want. Just send me a request and we'll give it to you. Uh, this here is a uh, president club car. Um, going to change the oil and the oil filter on it. Uh, the carburetor needle was sticking in it. It was putting gas in the oil. So I already cleaned the carburetor out. Um, I'll post a video on that later. But uh, what you want to do is get a 14 millimeter wrench. <coughs> Let's see here. Uh, first thing you want to do is jack the car up um, from the back end. That way you can lean the motor forward so that it'll put all the oil. So when you drain the oil, the uh, oil will drain out. If you look under there, you'll see an opening there. Um, it's a 14 millimeter bolt. Um, you want to put the wrench on there. I've already drained the oil out of here already, so I'm just going to show you how to do it. 14 millimeter wrench, drain the oil out when it comes out. Uh, put the oil back in there. Let me put the plug back in there. Like I said, a 14 millimeter wrench. Um, I like a gear wrench, but uh, whatever you want to use. You don't have the heat man it because it's got a, a, a seal washer on it. And you want two old filters right here. I always take a rag and put a rag under the oil filter. Because if not, the oil will run down on these channels here. And you'll think that something's leaking, which really it ain't. It's just oil trapped under the motor. So when you drive it, it sits there and leaks out. You want to uh, take the oil filter off. And you can see how clear that is, like gas. All right. Then your um, a new oil filter. Always take a little bit of oil and put on the O-ring so it won't stick on there when you go to take it off next time. And uh, you don't have to over tighten these things here. These are the part numbers here for the oil filters uh, on a club car president if you need a part number. And Napa's got them, Advance has got them. Then you put it on here. And like I said, you ain't got a heat manage. Just tighten it up a little bit. The O-ring will still look good. Then make sure you clean all your oil out. All your oil off the bottom of the motor. That way it don't look like it's leaking. take the cart and put the cart uh, back on the ground uh, we use 1030 oil here uh, you put you pull the dipstick where the old dipstick is and that's how you put oil back in it uh, most of them carry 1.3 quarts of oil uh, 1.3 quarts of 1030 motor oil all right, man, stay tuned for more videos.